away from the storylines mm -hmm. or from the whatever you can tease. Um, how does the relationship of the core four develop for this season? Well, as you guys may be aware, we're pretty much left in the dark when it comes to the scripts and the storylines for each season. The writers love keeping us on our toes. Um, but I do know that, yeah, it's going to, we're kind of going back to the theme of season one. Um, a lot of high school stuff. I think we're going to be embracing our senior year um, and making the most out of that. And I think we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of the nitty gritty kind of relationship stuff with the core four. That's what we're focused on. So, what has it been like for you as an actor to It's been uh, exhausting. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, it's great, honestly. I, I'm constantly, um, you know, learning about new things about Archie. I think, you know, these different situations that the writers put him in, uh, the way that he reacts and stuff. I, I'm constantly learning from. Uh, it would be nice for him to catch a break at some point, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm excited for the I future. I feel like they're not going to let that happen. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably make for good TV. Yeah. So we heard that Archie's going to be back on the football field mm -hmm. and maybe a little less boxing next mm -hmm. season. Yeah. So what did you prefer as an actor? Did you like doing the, the heavy lifting of boxing and, you know, shirtless Archie in every episode or are you happy to get back on the field? I'm happy to get back on the field, for sure. I think, uh, I think we pretty much did all the boxing that we could have done. Uh, there was a lot of boxing last season. But um, yeah, I think uh, a bit of both every now and then would be great. I think it would be nice to jump back into football. I love football too, so. Can you talk about the physicality of that? Mm. How much training you Lots of training, lots of training, lots of boxing training. Um, Honestly, that's, you know, probably, I was talking to them about it, it's, it's probably one of the hardest parts of the job is finding time to go to the gym because they have my shirt off every day, so it's important to kind of to stay lean. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, it's tough, but it's good. That's why I'm, I'm ready to be wearing some clothes and football allows me to do that. Roberto just told us we're going to see a lot more Mad Dog this season. Yeah. What was it like working with Eli again? Eli's the man. Eli is a legend. I really look up to that guy. He's uh, it's one of the most disciplined guys that I know. And uh, being on set with him is great. He doesn't eat for like, he does these intermittent fastings. So he won't eat for like 16 hours. And then at lunchtime, when it's time for him to eat, he's got literally, I'm not kidding, like six stacks of plates, <laughs> tin foil of food. And he just eats the whole thing in one go. He's a beast. What is that? He's a legend. Does that well, it's just like his way of, it's just like his routine, I guess. It's what he does. Yeah. A real life jacket. Yeah, we've worked, yeah. <laughs> we've worked out a couple times together. He's a little too intense for me, but it's, it's good. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm sure he's got some, some things up his sleeve. It's not really my decision to make. <laughs> Relationship-wise, what are you looking forward to seeing from our team? Yeah, I think um, with, with the passing of Fred, I think it's going to be inevitable that him and his mum get a lot closer. Um, and that is something that we will be kind of exploring this season is, is Archie's relationship with Mary, which we haven't really gotten to see. I think it would be nice for the audience to kind of see the dynamic of their relationship. Um, it also gives me a chance to get to know Molly more, which is, which is great. So we don't get to work together that often. I know that's not your decision, but do you kind of hope to see that? I think, I think for sure there'll be moments where we dip in and out of, you know, um, you know, Fred will always be a part of Riverdale, um, and I think, you know, he, he was a, he was a, such an important part of, of the town, um, so yeah, we're definitely going to be going back to, to stuff like that, for sure. In the dynamics on the set, do the uh, actors get to contribute much to the storyline with the writers and the producers, and if so, what would you, uh, where would you like it to go? Okay, we don't really get as much as, as, uh, as people think, um, but if I could, 
I would make it so that we did a crossover with Sabrina. She uh, does a spell on me which gets all my scars away so that I don't have to spend three hours in makeup when I have my shirt on. Remember I got attacked by a bear? Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Didn't even get to see the bear. It's good though. It's good. What has it been like for you to experience just the ever growing fan of the series? Because I feel like each year it just grows bigger. Maybe you come out to Comic Con now and you see it as the cosplay and yeah. all of that. Look we were all talking uh, earlier before about how the first season we got here and there was like pretty much no one really knew about what was going on. And then slowly, the second season was like, holy shit, like this is real. Yeah. A lot of people are watching. But it's nice to see like all the fans in one spot and seeing how people react to the show and stuff like that. It's uh, it's pretty surreal. It's pretty surreal. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Since we're at Comic-Con, I want to know what superhero you are. Spider-Man. Yes. Thank you. Well, I wonder if, sorry, maybe this is heavy for our last question, but I wonder if you could type this through Archie psychology a little bit. I mean, he has such a firm moral center, and once he decides on the right path, he is unflinching in pursuing that, no matter the cost to himself, even. Yeah. So, sort of as the actor behind that, where does your mind go? Can you take this in that psychology? Yeah, I, I've thought about that a lot, too. I think he's, he's such a good person, and he's always looking out for everyone. He would literally take a bullet for probably anyone. Um, and I think he gets that a lot from his old man. I mean, he, he was brought up mostly by his dad, and uh, they spent a lot of time together, and I think... Um, I think Archie's forever trying to be, you know, as good as a man as Fred was, uh, because Fred has those exact same traits, and we and we see a lot of that in that first episode. Uh, different characters kind of talking about their experiences and memories that they had with Fred, um, which kind of bring a lot of that stuff up. And when you guys watch that episode, you'll realize why Archie is that way, is because Fred's been that way his whole life too. So I think, um, yeah, I think it comes from his own. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.